time because guys i've had a crazy past couple of days i have been better and i have gone through a rough couple of days but this too shall pass and it will pass and i'm feeling so much better i just got home from the hospital i was in the hospital for two days i went in tuesday morning around seven and i got home today thursday just before 11 a.m thank god thank god i got out at a reasonable time today because the walls were starting to cave in on me if you know what i mean like i was getting very emotional I called my husband crying i had tears in my eyes telling like the doctor that i just wanted to go home it had just been such a long 48 hours and man kidney stones are no joke i have struggled with kidney stones for the last seven years and never has it been this horrible i'm talking 10 out of 10 pain and that is not exaggerating i've never felt so so much pain for a long period of time i went in i went in around 7 30 to the hospital i got transported to another hospital by an ambulance around three and i had received morphine fentanyl and it took the edge off but i was still in pain like i still could feel just my side it felt like it was just ripping 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 just tearing like that it just i can't describe how it feels if you've ever had kidney stones and you you have an idea of like the kind of sensation that you feel but man that was just no joke and to go through to go through that alone to go through that for a, a longer period of time it's just not fun at all it's so it's so disheartening but honestly i would not even want anyone with me i couldn't even imagine my husband being there and seeing me in like that much pain i wouldn't want anyone to see me in that much pain because at that point there's nothing that anyone can do for me i was inconsolable not even the medication was helping with my pain by the time i got to the next hospital point, like right before i just felt like my body was starting to shut down and it's really scary because when you're experiencing excruciating pain feeling all of these different things at once all at the same time oh my lord my heart my, my heart literally goes out to anyone who is struggling with their health who is going through any sort of pain in their life even if it's not physical maybe it's emotional i don't know but it just i felt so stripped of my comfort of my normalcy of all of the things that i normally can take for granted like a hot shower my nice cozy bed my husband my kids being home like just feeling good you can kind of take those things for granted because they're always there and you always have that to fall back on but when you're stripped and you don't have anything to give you comfort it is a really scary place to be in and i cried many times in the last 48 hours and i've prayed many times like jesus just please like rescue me please help me jesus please heal me like i need you jesus because i am weak i am tired i am broken i feel just defeated and overcome by sickness and i don't want to feel like that especially being pregnant it's like on top of that being pregnant and thank god everything was okay with the baby his heart rate was great him on the ultrasound everything looked good you know they were monitoring him the whole time so i was i was 
feeling a little better because he was okay, you know? But beyond that, I just, man, I've really been struggling. But I'm so thankful that I'm home today. It's not even two o'clock. We're about to run to Target, me, PJ, and little P, and get some dinner for tonight because I, I need, I need some comfort food. <laughs> and I'm about to make one of my favorite meals. It's my chicken penne pasta and I add spinach and sun-dried tomatoes to it. It's so yummy and I make my sauce from scratch but we need to go grocery shopping because we're looking a little dry over here. Anyways, I just wanted to check in because I had some free time. The boys were out of the house. I'm getting it all together again. I'm feeling relieved. I'm feeling so happy. I was able to shower, do my full body routine, and I think that's going to be my next video. We need to talk about the body care products because I love hygiene products. I love all of the products that I'm using in the shower and after the shower, and I just want to share that with you guys because I love putting people on to new stuff. I got you. So that'll be the next video, so look out for that one. I just wanted to say, ah, girl, this too shall pass no matter what you're going through this too shall pass there's something on the other side don't forget it no matter how you're feeling today no matter what you've been going through there's still tomorrow there's still today it's not over it's not over oh i'm so happy to be home and i just cannot wait to relax tonight to have a yummy delicious dinner oh man i'm feeling so good i'm feeling so good and i'm feeling so thankful for all the things that are easily overlooked on a daily basis and i'm gonna enjoy the little things today and i'm gonna celebrate being home and being healthy and that my baby is good and i'm good and just life can resume back to normal you know that's how i feel so I'm happy tomorrow's Friday. I have the day off tomorrow. So it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Target, dinner, you know, all the fun stuff. I love watching people go to Target. I love watching people make dinner. So I'm going to do that today and it's going to be a good day. We're going to turn it all around and I'm happy for it. On the way to Target, one of my favorite places. Target is always going to be a pick-me-up. No matter the day I'm having, run to Target. <laughs> See the newness? I'm, I'm down for it. I'm down for it every time. You know what's annoying? People that take a long time to get out of their parking spot. When they're in like the first or second spot, like... You see me here with my turn signal on and you're just over there eating a snack, like... That is so cute. A cute setup. I want. Target has the cutest furniture, but they're so expensive. Like, I could never pay full price. So this in my bedroom. That one is way cuter. For a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. Check out the candles. The best candles. I found this cute candle. It kind of has like a fall smell to it, but it's three dollars. So yes, I will take it.
time that you cannot waste And the other one price that you cannot fit This is the piece that you cannot buy Find it Put your Charlie Brown pajamas on I like that Is that your buzz? You got a buzz light ear? Let me see Oh wow I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Did 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 you get you that? What happened? What happened? The definition of fame.